this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do the grit stitch and um, I'm not sure 100% if this is the proper name for the stitch um, I saw it on a site and that's what she called it and uh, I'm looking for a basic pretty stitch to go for this uh, beginner item I'm making and so I thought that I would teach it to you because it's so pretty and she goes with the grit stitch so if it's not called a grit stitch please feel free to leave a comment and I can't correct the video obviously but I can add a, it in the description box so for this project all you're going to need is some worst weight yarn or any kind of yarn the stitch can be done in any size hook and any size yarn but for the tutorial I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook so uh, a size eight hook for the US so get that and some worst weight yarn or whatever kind of yarn you want to use and let's get started now to begin this stitch uh, it's in multiples of two so chain the amount of number that you want for your project and make sure that it's an even number so I have a chain of 20 so you get it in multiples of two and then you go ahead and chain one and then begin in that first stitch I like to do a single crochet in the first row so do a single crochet in each stitch down your chain and I'll see you back here in a moment get done with your single crochets you want to chain one and turn now in your very first stitch you want to do a half double crochet so yarn over go into that first stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three loops then you'll skip the next stitch and then in the following stitch you will put a single crochet and a double crochet in that same stitch so single crochet and then a double crochet then you'll skip the next stitch and then the next one you'll do the same thing single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch and that's the pattern you'll repeat to the end skip one stitch and then the next stitch put a single crochet and a double crochet worked into the same stitch so continue that down your row and when you reach the end of your row I will show you what to do. Okay, I've reached my very last stitch and then this very last stitch just put a half double crochet. Then again you just want to chain one. Back up just a bit. You just want to chain one and turn for around for row two, which is going to be the same way that you work the stitch, just going to be a repeat, is again you want to half double crochet in this first stitch, three loops, and then pull through all three loops, and then you will skip the next stitch, which is the double crochet, and then you'll want to be working in the single crochet, and in the single crochet you'll do the exact same thing you did last row, working one single crochet and one double crochet in the same stitch going to be just like last row the only difference is you'll be working in the single crochets this row and for you know all your rows so again you'll skip the next stitch which is, which is the double crochet and in the single crochet you'll work a single crochet and a double crochet in that same stitch so just continue that all the way to the end of your okay, row. Reach the end again, and then the very last stitch again. You want to do a half double crochet, and then again you will chain one and turn, and begin your row again with a half double crochet, and then you will repeat exactly what you did last row, skipping the first stitch, which is a double crochet, and working your stitch into the um, a single crochet and that is it and I'm going to show you here on this uh, sweater that I'm making and 
this is how you do the grit stitch now if uh, you find that you find this stitch somewhere else that has another name please let me know I uh, like I said I found this on uh, another uh, site when I was looking for a basic uh, but pretty stitch to go with this sweater that I'm making my son which will be in a future tutorial um, I uh, found this nice little stitch it seems simple enough and uh, I just wanted to use it but she calls it the grit stitch so it may not be called that so we'll just have to see oops I have it backwards anyway it's worked in rows back and forth so the front will look the same as the back but I hope that this tutorial helps you and I'm going to keep working on the sweater and I'm going to get it out to you as soon as I can, hopefully the next tutorial. So that is it for now. Uh, enjoy the grit stitch.